I'm going to say this one time and we're just going to leave it there. To the MTG Arena devs, whatever code you put in during the rotation update that has caused land floods and land droughts the way that we have seen since, take it out or fix it. It doesn't work, it's awful, and it's infuriating. Let's play some magic. Hello and welcome back to Bad Magic with the citrus fruit who has never worked for Mr. Beast. But since all these employees are coming out and saying that, that he's evil, then I should probably think he's evil too, right? Right? I don't know. Anyway, it's me, it's Moldy Kumquat, and today, ladies and gentlemen, enough of that Mr. Beast bullshit. Let's talk about Saltai Innkeeper. Huh? How about we talk about that? How about we talk about the fact that I went 21-11 and 11 over 32 games? How about that? How about we talk about the fact that my last 10 games I went 10-0? and 0? with Sultai Innkeeper. Now those 10 games is where most of these uh, games are going to come from, but I have sprinkled in from all of the games I played uh, because, you know, I just went for the enter uh, entertaining ones. For instance, I am not going to be playing uh, or showing this, this uh, match that went 24 minutes. That thing was awful, and he was just roping the whole time. Uh, and why would I show you a 24-minute match when the video is only 45-ish minutes long? So what are we doing here, Moldy? Well, you've seen it. Innkeeper's talent. You level this bad boy up to level 3. You bring down Veraska's Betrayal Sting. You ultimate her. Gives the opponent 18 poison counters, and they are eliminated immediately. A one shot combo takes a little time to build up, but once you get it, it's done. They can't do anything about it once it's down, it's over. So, you know it, it's been making its rounds. So, now that everybody is learning about this combo, what do we do about that? How do we keep playing the combo if we want to keep playing the combo but protect our combo? Well, the obvious choice is counter spells, which is why we put blue in the deck. Now, I went with these two counter spells because of their extra utility. You could switch these out, like Phantom Interference. You can use, like, a, you know, some negates or something like that. Uh, whatever. But counter spells was the answer. We also had blue draw spells in here, but Pillage but the Bog may be the best draw spell in the game, so there was no point to keep the blue draw spells in here. This, this, this card was it. This card right here is just as important as these two cards. You get this plotted on three, you start building up your innkeeper's talent, and then once it's level three, then you can pop this bad boy for zero mana, go get your Vraska, and you're ready to go. Boom. Win the game. And you'll see that happen too. We've got things in here to make sure that uh, we can control what they have. You know, we don't want them overrunning us with all a bunch of creatures. Uh, the Deep Cavern Bat with the Innkeeper's Talent uh, is, you know, can win the game by themselves. Obviously, this has the utility of taking out of the hand. This uh, pumps it up, and then the Live Link help keep you alive. Uh, Ren is a really nice utility early. Um, I use Ren a lot. You'll see that happening. And if uh, Ren comes in after Pillage the Bog, you can ultimate it right away, and then just your graveyard is now your oyster to, to play from. Ashiok can win the game by herself as well, but we only have one of them in there uh, just for a little bit of utility. And then obviously Vraska is what this deck is built around. All right, so we are going to go ahead and get right into these games. But first, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Again, it is quick, it is easy, it is free. I can't think of three better words in the English language. And it would provide a whole lot of support for our channel. I want to keep making these videos, and I want to do them more often, and I can only do that with your support. Uh, I just said in the last video that we hit 150, and the last time I checked, we were at 161. So we are blowing through that, heading right to 200, and uh, I want to get there. So 
Uh, I appreciate all you guys that have subscribed. Also, if you like the content that I am providing for you, make sure that you are hitting that like button. And if you do not like the content I'm providing, make sure you hit that dislike button. They both give me good information, and I appreciate you stopping by. So the time for talking is over. The time for one-shot poison combo is now. Yeah, this doesn't look too bad at all. I'm going first. I mean, uh, with, with the state of things, if you surveil and it's a land, do you keep it? Absolutely, I think. But no, there's two sides of that coin. Because you may keep it and then the next, like... Ten draws are lands. Or you don't keep it. And you never draw land again. That's the problem we have with the, the current shuffler issue. Is it could be either or. You can either go barren or you can get flooded. And it's there's there's just no in between. Just no in between. Barren or flooded. Oh, Lord have mercy. Uh, Eos, really? Uh, it's just, shoot. Maybe, maybe that's not even the right choice. I don't know. I just don't even know there. If I'm being honest. I know I need that Braska and I need it quick, or at least a, a board wipe of some kind would be nice. I'm gonna make him decide right now if he wants to keep that Pixie or the reinforcement. And he decided probably correctly there. More lands. We're just going to go ahead and be aggressive because we're getting that four back. Like we, right now, we don't necessarily need to block. She's coming in with ten counters on her. It doesn't not like that matters or anything, but. He's going to have a bunch. Good lord, dude. I have to I have to find something. I can't Open your mind to me. Like what what is this? I'm going to exile that so I have a uh That'll put me at 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have to, we have to start dealing with his population here. Oh, wow. Ha 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 ha
Or at least for a brief reprieve. Can we do it again, please? Oh, Lord have mercy. Safety was briefly achieved. The answer is that we can do it again. This time, we're going to collect some evidence from the last time. We'll collect a little bit of evidence here. What are we going to say we don't want to see again? Well, we he got all of his reinforcements. Which, uh, mind you, this shuffling thing is not just an issue with the lands. You see this crap a whole hell of a lot. We're going to take his uh, Knight Errant. Going to take the Knight Errant so he doesn't have a target for the, the Glee. There we go. Let's go. We are in good shape. We're just going to keep drawing with, uh, with a Lash Hog. That's, uh, that's just game. That's just game right there, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, Benjamin Button types. Thank you. Come again, Mr. Sinister. Mm, let's go. Um, okay, I'll keep this. Oh, it's, it's, it looks like it's going to be another land fest. I'm so happy. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's see what he has here. Alright. So he's playing uh, some hardcore Golgari control. I can dig it. I'm hip. I'm hip to the hip to the hop. Hop to the hip. Hip to the hop and you don't stop. I'm, I, I, I got it. I understand. You're laying it down. I'm picking it up. Okay. Go on my bats. Let's get. We're gonna have to get serious now. I'll tell you how we're gonna play this game. We're gonna keep that pillage right there. And once our talent. Is available then we'll go get our then we'll, then we'll pillage the bog for 20 half the deck one of the four Vraskas is going to be there I just tell you right now one of the four Vraskas are going to be there That's it. Next turn, it's over for Suki. We've got our lands. We've got our innkeeper's talent. And we are looking at the next, what's going to be 12 cards. We'll look at their next 12 cards. And in those 12 cards, there is going to be a mother flipping Frasca.
Uh, okay. Now I've got to think, because, like, I mean, I can, I can ultimate. Oh, Lord. I knew this was going to happen just because I was talking so much shit. Just because I was talking so much shit, I knew that was going to happen. No play like that. That's fine. That is fine. Now, next turn. We're looking at the top 14 cards of our deck. And in those 14 cards, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you know it. She gonna be there. She gonna be right there. 14 cards, baby. Here comes Vraska. Ah, oh, two of them. I was beginning to worry when I was looking at this. I'm like, uh, I don't know. Are we fucked again? Nope, there she is. My darling. Here we go. She's there. He's got nothing. Game over. Let's go. Choo choo. Let's go. Okay. We don't have any black mana. Getting it on the board. Next turn, I'm going to play Pillage into the plot using this as my black mana. I'm having a great mana game this time already, right off the bat. A. Plus. And he's playing some, uh, probably Reenact the Crime. Some kind of reenact the crime deck, I bet. Demir collars, her. I don't have any black mana. Let's go ahead and look at the next six cards of my deck. See if any of these could be. Ooh, I'd really like to take this. Let's do it. We'll handicap ourselves a little bit. <clears throat> to give ourselves a, a green and black. And I'll even take that one off the top. That's fine. Yeah. I'll do it. He doesn't really have anything to keep it off the board, so... <sighs> if I'm being honest here, um, I'll probably level it up one more next turn and then finish the game off the turn after that so if I'm being honest that's that's the current plan that's the current plan and I'm sticking to it Now, he's got to be aware that, you know, well, clearly he's not aware of anything. Because if he was, he would look at, I have five mana, I've completely leveled this up, you're done next turn. You're done. You're done. On this mana, look at this. To this, and then this, and then this, and then that again. Doesn't matter. You're done. GG's. Let's go. Well, I have everything I can want in this hand.
That is the third instance where surveil land on the top first time we kept second time we discarded third time we kept first time we needed a blue land we kept it second time we needed a blue land we discarded got a blue land the next turn this turn time we don't need a blue land but we need land and we kept it well I mean the point the 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 point is moot here Why did it do this? Why did... Oh, my God. I don't, I don't know why... It tapped... The green land... Instead of the blue-black land. Like, what would I have needed this blue and black land for? I'm just going full control. Even though it doesn't really matter now. We've got to watch out for a counter spell. Okay, so, no we don't. It's just game over. We don't because he tapped all his blue mana. Let's go. I don't know it says I three A D I three I L L Y, but we all know what that means. It means bad Billy. Bad Billy is playing bats. Bad Billy is playing bats. So you know what comes down turn two on bats, right? All right. I've been seeing the. Uh, I've been seeing this lately, and I'm not a. Not a fan, really. Not a fan, really. I mean, we drew a Vraska. So now we're on curve. Next turn, we go up to level two, and then the next turn, we've got the land. Like, it's already set in stone here, right? He's got no counters. All I know is that I need to last two more turns. He doesn't know that. He's not thinking about that. He's just thinking about doing as much damage to me as he possibly can. But I know. I know that next turn this is over. Wow, he's playing a really different version of this deck. I, I actually kind of like that though. 
He's tough, man. Like a one of in the deck, maybe two of. It doesn't need it though. Bats is tough. Yeah, see, he's not even thinking about what's coming next turn. It's not even on Bad Billy's radar. Bad Billy, he's out there in the in the crops, shooting his gun at Tannerite. That's what Bad Billy's doing. Shooting his gun at Tannerite. Vraska's not even on his radar. He's probably going to be like, oh, okay, well, yeah, I'll just, uh, no, 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 he's, he's drawing a card. He doesn't even know. Why are you drawing a card, Bad Billy? It's over. Let's go. This is, this is too heavy. This is good. Um, yeah, that's the most expensive thing in my hand, so that's what we are going to discard. I actually like this one a little bit better than this one. She's not a good person, Glissa. She's not a good person. We want rid of her ASAP. I think this card's excellent. This is one of my favorite cards. Pillage the Bog. I think it's excellent. No. I'm going to do it like this. I want to give him something to think about. Just give him something to think about. How about love, 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 love. Yeah, that's fine. No blocks. No blocks. Just don't hit me in the face. I don't want you to hit me in the face, good sir. <clears throat> All right. So, actually, we can just go ahead and do it, because we got Ren. How about that? How about that, mother truckers? Let's we'll go ahead and get rid of those two right now. Thank you, Ren. Here you go, there's a 3-3 Fabled Passage. Watch out for them apples, folks. He might use his cottage. But I think if he uses a cottage, it would put him... Okay. Uh, it would... I was going to say, if he used the cottage, it would put him behind on the board. We'll go ahead and, and do it here. I'd like to get rid of that uh, of Raska. Um, but unfortunately, the only thing I can really do is take a Varaska mine. Let's see, one, two, three. I have three mana. Hmm.
this was probably not a very good hmm I'm gonna take the cover up Allies everywhere. Stand with us. try to try to take care of his Vraska this way. So I still have the man at a counter too, if he if he brings out anything really tough. Okay, so the answer to that is no, he's going after my Ren. Oh, he can have it. He can have it. We're going to go ahead and... Play another round. I am the nexus of all do it again. Is. Get rid of his Vraska. And then once again, I have the mana that I would need to counter if I would need to here. So he is playing the innkeeper. Okay. Honestly, I probably should have just... Yeah, there he goes. Never mind. Never mind. I was going to say, I probably should have saved that counter for... Let him do that. Let him get through that, and then counter Vraska when he came when when Vraska came out. But it worked. Let's get uh, this hand's pretty much awful. This is doable. I did the cut down because I didn't have a uh, black mana. That's not going to be the best of, of things to have done. That was probably not the best decision I've made. Take the virtue. There we go. Not bad. But can I decline? <laughs> That'd have been something, huh? Discard. No. I don't want to. I don't want to discard. I need a land. Absolutely. 
Alrighty. Let's see which works faster now. My uh, hex proof ward land. That's going to be a 6 6 next turn. That's not small. Or his discard. If I were him, I'd pump this bandit's talent up one more if he doesn't have anything else in his hand. I mean, he could Liliana right here, actually, if he had Liliana. That'd be something. He's going for full damage, so that makes sense. He understands the uh, severity of the, the current situation. He's, st he's still going for old Ren, which I, I don't think is, is the thing to do. I just want to make sure that my demolition field is the one that's getting used here. Because now we're a 7-7 seven, seven baddie. Big 7-7 seven, seven baddie. Yeah, now he's understanding that he needs to draw some cards. He's on a clock. Next turn, this thing's going to be a 9-9. Nine, nine. But he's still he's still going after my Ren. I, I don't necessarily think that is the... Jesus Christ. Can I not draw land? Honey, can I just not draw land? May not matter. Please, buy us more time. He's got to do nine to me. Nine damage. This turn. He's going to do two to me. At the beginning of mine. Okay. I hope he do goes to sacrifice creature. That'd be something, wouldn't it? Watch this. Didn't even really even matter to be honest. Like I could have just sacrificed this guy. Really, his only option is to not attack with the bat, and that's what he did. I'm gonna do this to shuffle the deck up a little bit because I've just been drawing lands. Over and over and over and over again. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, just shuffle the deck up a little bit. Right? That's all you gotta do. Listen, I was, I'm done. Which I guess I could've, I, it didn't matter either way, cause I could've, uh, I could've just ultimated Ren. So I guess I had two win. Uh, I had two lines for the win here, but he did the right thing and he didn't attack because of my man land, which would save him, and then he would win next turn. It doesn't matter because now he loses. Let's go. I'm gonna keep this. I got a surveil, counter, the bat, couple couple uh single target kill spells. Land on the top? No, another bat. I'll keep the bat up there. And he's playing blue white control, it looks like. Yeah. Let's get in that hand, Masaki. Let's see what you got. Counter target creature spell. We got some lockdowns. Uh we're gonna take that. I could take the lockdown next turn. 
Maybe. We're just gonna pass the turn. Oh, I should have attacked. Should have attacked. I just passed the turn because I'm wondering if he's gonna lock down. Nope. See what he does. See what he does. He counters that one. Okay. Good. So that counter's gone. He still doesn't have a white mana for the lockdown. Does he have another counter? I hope so. And I hope he uses it. Very nice. He had a counter and he used it. Now we gotta start playing tactically. I'm not going straight into the innkeeper's talent. Yes, we can get it down, we could start it rolling, and hopefully on turn five, it's like blah 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 blah. blah. We'll resolve that. Uh, that's a green and black, so we'll definitely get a swamp because I don't have any more swamps out there. Oh, he's Esper. I see. Good old cut down. I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you. Is this all on the end of my turn? I'll use it like that. I want to keep my bat. There's a land. Tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to keep playing it safe. I know he's got that lockdown. Lockdown will kill the innkeeper's talent. Which I do not want. I'll wait till the end of the turn to kill this. Or attempt to kill this, I should say. I shouldn't have been presumptive. Okay. Alright, so he got it. Now is he gonna is he going to uh Sure. I'm perfectly fine with that. I think I'm gonna draw. <laughs> hey, sir, would you like some lands? Uh, you bet your sweet ass I would. Is that another one you would like to give me? Fantastic. I'm so excited about this. So excited. Does he have another counter spell? Nope. It's all just a mirix. All in all, you're just a... Another mirix. Yeah, that one didn't work. Sounded better in my head. Stand with us. It's 
Got a hex proof, my guy. My Saki. Vigilance. Heck yeah. You see what's coming. You see it. He's right there. Um, I just think we're going to go ahead and kill the Beza. If we can. Looks like it. I uh, should have waited so I could have blocked uh, block the Mirix token. No, it's fine though. We're good. We're in a good we're in good shape. I just wanted to quit drawing cards. You know, if we could just if he could just stop drawing cards, that would be favorable. See, that's instantly getting countered. Or that's instantly getting I'm just going to take the Fabled Passage here. Like so. We're going, to, we're going to use a map on it. We're going to map our way through the Fabled Passage. I like that. We'll do it again. I'm going to go ahead and play the Innkeeper's Talent. And level it up. That's a big passage coming your way, Masaki. It's a big passage coming your way. He's coming after Ren. I mean, like, he must have not had anything in his hand. <laughs> like, nothing in his hand. Mm. So, this is interesting because we've got two, two untapped lands in the beginning. The bat's good. I can play this. I can, I can play... I can, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. Yes, it's a two-lander. This is dangerous. But I can play every single card in my hand. Every single card in my hand. Play that first. Make him think that I'm being playing Simic. And then he's going to be like, oh, what the hell is he playing? Because nobody plays Simic. Okay. Well, let's, get, let's, let's get the bat in there then. Let's get our first bat down. Oh my goodness. Well, we have to take fail. You know. Destroy target creature. I may actually put that in instead of go for the throats. He's stuck on two mana as well. Do we, uh... I just got an innkeeper's talent. I think we just go for it. Start getting that life gain. Start getting some big damn in. Big damage. Big damage. Big damage. There's the okay, you got the spelunking. Which is big time. He probably just drew that land. Uh, because we're now on the the path of Of drawing lands. 
So he has four lands now. Here's a question. We don't want him to... Go. We're going to have to take the smuggler surprise. We do not want him to get that thing going. I'm doing this because if he ends up playing... Well, I guess it actually wouldn't matter. It would not matter. Untap land. I want to go ahead and just level this up and plop this. We're still fine. We're still fine. I mean, we've made it this far. We're at 30. I'm not worried at all uh, that he just got all that back. I, actually, I was worried, but I'm not worried at all now. Unless he takes out that, then I'll be worried. If he takes out the innkeeper's talent, I'll be worried. But until then... Yeah. yeah. We knew that was coming. But I'll tell you what's coming. Next turn. Is we're going to pillage the bog for hopefully 12. But right now, just 10. And when we do, oh, it's 12. We're going to pillage the bog for 12. And in those 12 cards out of 45, so that's a fourth of my deck. One fourth of my deck here. One of these four Vraska should be here. And then it's game over. Right there on top. There was multiple. I'm not even going to look at the rest. We don't even need to, to, to look at the rest. Because it is... O B E R over. Let's go. Final boss energy. I'm gonna actually keep this, and I'm gonna go for a swamp here. Oh, that's a good draw. That is a really good draw. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want none of that, good sir. I'm going to, uh... I'm going to bat. We're going to bat because we have the edict. Oh, he's got another one. Uh, yeah, wait, no. There we go. Cool. No blocks. No blocks. Now the question is, is do we take another one? Which will be a four. I think we do it this way. I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. That kind of forces him to want to play the Sentinel this turn. Which is fine. That is absolutely fine. We are going to... I'll make him sack it. And then I'm going to pillage. Okay. Alright. I think we're in a good spot. Hopefully he didn't draw another creature. He did not draw another creature. Let's go. Now it's my turn.
Now it is my turn, and I have a go for the throat option open. I think the final boss. The final boss has been defeated. The final boss has been defeated. Doesn't even know it yet. Doesn't even know it yet. Elf Oskidero. Nine straight wins. I'm thinking about going for tw uh, ten now. Thinking about going for ten. Ten straight wins. Oh, no, no. Don't mishear me. That's not the tenth straight win. That's the ninth straight win. But we might go for 10. Let's go. It's a tough one, but I'm going to keep it. I'm keeping this with the idea that we're going to go fast now. We're going to go fast. The idea is to go fast. He shouldn't have anything unless he's playing an assassin's trophy or something to get rid of this. Yeah. Sure. I'm not even worried about that anymore. We're just gonna we're just gonna pump this up. That's all we're doing. Pumping them up. Pumping it up. He's trying to hit me with the discard really fast. It actually kind of looks like my discard deck. That'd be flattering if it was. But I'm the only one that I know that's been using the Reckless Cottages. Okay, it's not mine because I don't play with that card. Oh, this is so good. Now here's a here's something that we need to take a chance on. Oops. I think I think we are just gonna play the Wren. And I am going to pump her up. And and go in. Just to apply some pressure, because this is going to make him maybe think now that he's got to he's gotta do something. Even though he can't really do anything to this, but we're applying some pressure now. He has things he has to worry about. And if we draw land next turn, well, that puts us we can we can pump him up. Still get some damage in. And then the next turn win the Vraska. But it's looking to me like Chang Pao has read the room appropriately. And he said at Moldy Kumquat. He's going for his 10th straight win. And I don't want to mess that up for him. So you know what? It seems that my discard strategy just is not working for me. I'm just going to go ahead and back out. And say, here you go, Moldy. Here's your 10th straight win. Well done, building this deck. I think it's got something going for it. Oh, he's back. Never mind. Disregard everything I just said. Oh, he's coming back strong, too. Coming back strong with the discard. Again, this is something that uh, I was talking about that I've noticed a lot of as well, which is the... Um, having so many of the same thing um actually tell you what I'm going to do here is I am going to I want to do it this way I must fight back
Then I'm just going to pass the turn. And I'm passing the turn here because I'll have two cards in my hand, which means it makes those two, uh, at least on the draw, kind of moot. <clears throat> So we're going to draw two cards here. And discard a card. We'll discard a Vraska. I got to get this Vraska down. Deck. Seriously, man. Like, what are you doing to me? Alright. So, I'll take it this way. Maybe we should have done this last turn. I'll keep that on top, actually. So basically, if we can survive this turn without losing both cards in my hand. Which looks like maybe I won't lose both cards. Then we win. We're back on track, baby. Back on track. He's not, he's totally disregarding Ren. Like, I don't care about Ren. Chang Piao does not know what's coming. Clearly. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, baby. <clears throat> you almost had it, my friend. You almost had it. Almost had it. He was struggling, too. He was struggling, but 10 in a row, baby. Let's go. Alrighty, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those games. You know that I did. If you stuck around to the end, I appreciate you so very much. If you want to check out some more of my videos, just check out one of them here. But until next time, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And take care.